Oh, we got an Iron Sheik. Okay. So we have one team eliminated. We have three teams left. Well, actually, two teams and a half a team. All right. Well, that makes it a little less, uh, a little less cluttered because we have only three active members at a time. Out of four plus the partner. I was going to go for the three. I was just doing it on a, uh, a cadence. Oh, that was close. I, I hit the button for three, but he got out. Okay, so stopped in to cheat, basically. <laughs> what the hell was that? He, it looked like he looked right at me. Oh, I was going to eliminate his ass. It looked like he looked right at me and punched me. <clears throat> I mean, it really did. Okay, you're gone. Okay, Rick Steiner's out. So we got Scott Steiner, we got Hawk, and we got both members of Strike Force. Oh! They went into an animation, so his move didn't hit. Oh yeah, you're the fucker that was attacking me before, so you're gone. You should have been gone before when I quick counted your ass. I'm also not sure about these little lighting effects going on here. I mean, it's, it's kind of kind of obnoxious, isn't it? All the the flash bulbs in the fans. hell was that? He just threw it into the crowd. You see that? <clears throat> oh, oh. Why can't I count pin? Was I not directly looking at him or what? Oh, he wasn't a legal man. That's probably why I couldn't count the pin. I got you. I got you. I was going to go for the three. I just wasn't going to quick count it. I was going to make it a little more uh, realistically case. Now we got the tag. He got him. He got him legit. I did a fairly legit count, so Strike Force, both of them survived and won. So yeah, so that's a, a four-way tag team match. That's crazy. Eliminated by tap out, tap out, four by pinfall. So let's do a. Uh, and just to see how crazy it might get with the interference, but there's only two teams. Let's do an eight-man tag. Once again, I'm going to go be the referee. Um, ah, I can't just go pick teams. I wanted to put, like, two teams together kind of thing. But let's do uh, put an Eddie. Eddie cheat to win. Let's see. Let's do Mil Mascaris. There's a game. There's a guy. A game you don't see in guy. Yeah, a guy you don't see in uh, wrestling games really. Uh, 
I don't know why some are with the blue backdrop and some are with the red backdrop. To see the blue extends to here, but on this page it's red and blue. I don't know exactly what that is. There might be a reason for it, or maybe there's not. I don't know. Uh, Paul Orndorff. You don't get to see him in games, really. Is it maybe faces and heels? Could that be it? I don't know, but let's put Sabu in. How about that? Uh... We saw him. Ivan. Yeah, let's put Ivan in there. Corey, Kevin, Ivan. Ivan Putski. All right, you get to go in. And... You know what? Let's do him. He's pretty legendary. You don't really get to see him. And referee, I got it. Let's be Jimmy Hart. Look, look at that. Let's see the costumes he has. He's got his, his fake superhero <laughs> costume. Uh, okay, we got that one. Number three. Oh, yeah, Nasty Boys. Like, what is that, Airbrush? Oh, there's the classic. There's the classic. Let's go with that one. Okay. Configure. Match time. Uh, this time I'll just go standard. Because we just kind of want to take a look at this, really. I don't want to, you know, make this one very long. We're just kind of checking it out here. Um, interactions. Referee. Let's turn it off this time. Uh, see what kind of difference it is. We'll still let it be defaultations. I'm okay with default. Okay, let's go Tokyo this time. Okay. So we're going to check this out. We're going to see how much, like, interference happens and that kind of thing. <clears throat> I might look at uh, some more of the, like, some of the other menu options and things. Uh before shutting this down, but yeah, I'm not going to go too much further in this because, again, it, it's not exactly great game or anything, but, you know, it is what it is, and hey, it was suggested, and like I say, when it comes to these little Let's Play videos, if it's suggested, I'll, I'll at least play it for a little while. If I really enjoy it, I'll play it longer. <clears throat> Mascara. Yeah, I'm kind of. Uh, I mean, I know he's legendary and everything. I've just heard stories that he wasn't necessarily that nice a person. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I, I don't have a lot of detailed stories, but I've heard enough to make me kind of be like, eh. <clears throat> Your dad. <clears throat> Mr. Wonderful. About in his later years, how he's grown that big old mustache. <laughs> Didn't even look like the same guy, the old version of him. Doesn't even look like the same guy he was when he wrestled. their opponents uh, yeah, like I said before already Sabu, pretty ambitious game it did some things good there were some cool elements it's definitely nostalgic I just I think they missed on not having computer matches because that that would have been something uh <clears throat> That would have been something pretty cool to have. Just, I'm mean, sure, again, you can do the referee, but you still have to, like, count pitfalls and stuff like that. But to just have straight computer matches would have been pretty cool. 
<clears throat> and then kind of like people do with WWE 2K18 and and probably the you know a lot of the previous 2K games and WWE games, do your little shows and uh, you let the computer play it out. You you like you book the shows. You're, it's like you're the uh, you're the promoter. You're the owner. You know, I do with my XTW. I do my unique thing. Uh, to Jew 22, he's got his shows. He tries to follow feuds and all that kind of thing. Um, one that I recently found, thanks to To Jew 22 point back for me, National Wrestling Federation on YouTube. He does a really cool deal. He's like old school, and he he said he's going to try to uh, work his way through time, basically, as far as how the characters kind of develop. Um, but he's like doing a lot of old school stuff right now and, and, and getting a lot of guys that are made from community com creations. Uh, from He says he knows a couple of guys who are real good at making characters. And, oh, man, I mean, he's just got a hell of a roster. Iron Mike Sharp and... Oh, it's just... Between the arenas and the, uh, the characters that he has and everything... Look at look at the cheat. Look at on the upper left and upper right. Apparently, you can have all three members cheat. So I have a feeling this match might have some crazy moments. In it. <clears throat> We've already got some cheat. Games. But uh, yeah, National Wrestling Federation, he, and he's got a really cool announcer voice too. I mean, he, it's very old school. Style that he's got. He, he's pretty damn creative with his uh, announcing. I wouldn't be able to pull that off. <laughs> what the hell? How did that happen? Oh! Now we're starting to get bodies flying everywhere! That's right, I'm doing elimin not I'm not doing elimination, so I don't want this to end necessarily too quick. That's that's kinda dumb that when he throws them in or slides in the ring it knocks a guy off the apron if he happens to be standing where he's sliding in it. that's kinda lame. Now if you knock him off the apron like you did down there and they start fighting, that's something different. Jesus, body's flying everywhere. Yeah, I, I had a feeling this might get crazy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like. Feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll always know when new videos have been uploaded. Have a good one.